Hey friends, welcome back to my sewing channel. Today I wanted to bring you a quick video on the key fob wallet pattern hack. So I hacked my own pattern to create what I call the slim bifold wallet. If you're a part of my sewing group on Facebook, you've likely already seen this hack, but I thought that I would share it with all of my YouTube subscribers as well. So the original pattern is the key fob wallet. It comes with this detachable strap, a zipper coin pouch along the back, and then it closes with a magnetic snap. And on the inside, it has two card slots, one ID area, and then an under area here under the credit cards for folded cash. This pattern does not have a vertical cash slot. It only has the folded cash area. Um, so I found that this was a very popular pattern on my vending table. And I also was seeing a trend that a lot of people didn't want a big bulky bifold so you know one day i was just kind of chilling with this pattern and thought you know let me just take off all of the outside stuff and make a really slim profile wallet and then i came up with the slim bifold so this is just a pared down version so there's nothing on the outside but it still has the two card slots here and then the under and then the id slot so it comes together very very quickly there's lots of ways to customize it this one I did a little accent pocket. This one I changed the in or the middle and then two accent colors for the pockets. And then this one is really pretty. I love this cork combination. But yeah, so there's lots of ways to customize it. You can do use up to four different colors on it and they come together very quick. I made all of these in one afternoon. And yeah, it's just a super fun pattern. And so you buy the key fob wallet pattern and then you use this video to get the hack. So enjoy. To make the slim bifold, you are going to cut out the main panel from the key fob wallet and go ahead and cut out the ID window and glue in your vinyl for the clear window. You're gonna cut out the inside lining piece and then the two card pockets. And so after you glue in your vinyl, what I'm gonna do is cut my little corners here like I do on all of my pieces. And I'm gonna cut the corners on all four corners of my card slots. But you can leave these squared if you prefer that look. And then what we're gonna do is hop to the machine and we are going to top stitch across our card slots and then we're gonna top stitch our ID window in and across this top section here. And now what I'm going to do is, since I'm already over here, I'm going to grab this panel and with the ID window at the back of my sewing machine bed, I'm going to take my first card slot and lay it on the measurement that's provided in the pattern. And then I'm just going to stitch along just the bottom of the card pocket. And then I'm gonna turn the whole panel so that it's this way, the card slot's on the left. And I'm gonna take the second card slot and line up the right side edges and the bottom edge. And then stitch just down the right side. So you can 
see I stitched just down the right side and I started up here at the second card slot and stitched over that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch just down this left side here. So there we go, now we've got both sides stitched down and now I'm gonna pop up over to my cutting table and trim this side so that all of these edges are flush. So I'm just gonna trim my corners and then I'm gonna trim this whole long edge here to 1 8 of an inch from my stitch line. And then you can see it makes that edge nice and flush and then because we lined up these two edges when we sewed it that side is nice and even as well and then burn the edge I like to burn this edge too just to get any fuzzies away and then you're going to take your lining piece and I always use the glue but you could also do double sided tape or even just clip it into place I do like to glue especially down the center of it because this center line is when this wallet is done that's where it's going to be folded and I don't want it to bubble or buckle so I always put glue down the center of the lining and then again using the measurements provided in the pattern you're going to lay this down and then I like to make sure to trim off any excess that I might have at this point just easier to trim now than it is later. So once that glue is set, I'm gonna fold this over and clip it. And when you're folding it, you wanna make sure that you have just a little bit, about an eighth of an inch edge here. Or at least that's how I do it. That's I prefer that look. And then you're going to flip over the other side. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is go back over to the machine and just stitch along this top edge and then along this bottom edge. So the last step in finishing this wallet is you're just going to trim down any pieces that might be overhanging. See I have a little bit right here. And then burn it with the lighter to get any fuzzies off. And then I would use my Aline's Fabric Fusion and glue across the top and the bottom and then also right here. Um, to train it to stay closed, because right now you can see it just wants to flop open, I would put, I'll fold it and then put something heavy on it. And after a few hours, it will train to stay closed. And then also, once people start using them, they will learn to stay closed as well, being in back pockets and such. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, do me a favor, leave me a comment, press like, subscribe, share, pin, yada, yada, yada. You guys know all of that, because I always say it. But again, your support and sharing and commenting, it really helps my videos get seen. So I do appreciate all of that. Um, and yeah, in the meantime, stay safe out there. Uh, tell somebody you love them. And uh, happy Indigenous Peoples Day.